to TGTV and more specifically welcome back to me standing in front of a big sign saying cash. Today is a very exciting day because today I'm off to Ferrari because today ladies and gentlemen I hopefully am going to be securing a deal on not only the car that I'm going to be doing the Mob Ball Rally UK on, more about that very very shortly, but also a return to the Ferrari F12. One of the cars that I wish I'd never sold and I've been regretting selling ever since. So many of you remember I had an F12 many moons ago on the channel. Um, I got actually started my YouTube channel when I had an F12. So it might be, oh no, maybe I didn't actually. Maybe it was a hurricane. Who knows at this point. Anyway, I love the F12. We're going to Ferrari Egham today and the Aston is out. I brought the Aston out for the first time. Probably actually this is the first time I've actually driven it. Yep. First time I've driven it out and about, so it's very, very cool to get out in this. Sun shining. We have Mr. John Mobble here. There'll be more from him very, very shortly. We've got some important uh, important bits and bobs to be going through. Uh, but we've also got some other cars here, ladies and gents. There are some other cars joining us. We have Mr. Tom Turner here. You've seen him before on the channel. We've got uh, that car with that person in it. Uh, we've got this chap here as well. Hi, mate. How you doing? Yeah. And uh, we've got Tony over there as well in his uh, Hurricane Performante, which I always say has been specced impeccably. Absolutely impeccably. Mainly because he hasn't actually touched it. What's he doing? He's in there on a phone call making loads of money. What a rich man. What a rich man. But we're currently about an hour late anyway, for some reason, off to Ferrari Egham to go and check out a very, very special F12 that I've got my eye on. Ferrari, Egham, Marinello. I've probably got that in the wrong order. Anyway, it's a Ferrari dealership. And I must say, actually probably one of the nicest Ferrari dealerships, if not the nicest Ferrari dealership in the country. Sorry, Colchester. I love you too. Uh, I'm here anyway. Archie's here. He, he got a spot of bother. Bo uh, he got a spot of bother because his GoPro fell off, but he's now with us. He's joined us. I'm late, but I'm here. Yeah, he's late, but he's here. But anyway, we are in the car park at the moment. And as always, I do like car parks. Just checking out some of the stock. There's some very cool stuff here. So I'm just going to walk around anyway. We've got a couple of F12s knocking around in the car park. These are not the ones I'm coming to see, but they are both very, very cool. I love an F12. I don't think I've said it before on my channel a million times. I love an F12. And this one is actually... Archie, stand next to it. Do your, do your uh, Instagram post. Yeah, which one? Uh, this one here, please. Well, that's not what you do on Instagram, is it? That's more of a thumbnail post. No, and that's you. No, I don't know what that is. No, that's not you. That's me. <laughs> Chaos. Uh, this is a cool spec. Do you know why, Archie? Because it's got the carbon center and it's got this carbon bridge, which is a really, really nice option. Right, this kind of aero bridge you know, through there. It's got the shield here. Shield. And, yeah, and the carbon scuderia shields as well. I think it's got full carbon. This is a very nice spec. It's up, up for two forty. They're just not going anywhere value-wise, are they? <laughs> Did you hear something? But it's still working. <laughs> it wasn't on fire, <laughs> and we vaguely heard it. Mm. Wow. Impressive. Very impressive. Nat! No, no, it's actually... Uh, no, it sounded like a hoover. Is that a 720? Yeah. Because it looks like the other ones, doesn't it? No, he, right, anyway... We... Telling me to buy one, so. Yeah, for 170 like grand... Just in case. <laughs> anyway. They've got a couple of cool F12s here. They've got a load of other bits and bobs. We've got a Lusa. Oh, an F. Oh, FF actually. That is nice. We like that. FF has been tickling me recently. I've been looking at these. We've got Lusso. An RAV10 Plus, which is obviously not for sale here. Um, but we also have. Not that. They're cool though. I do like these. The Aston is here. It's made it. Subjected to much trolling by Tony that it was going to break down. It hasn't. It's here anyway. And it kind of matches the railings in the background. Anyway then, I think it's time to go and find the F12 that I've come to see. I've preserved this car. This car's kind of mine. Um, 
the finance and whatever is all, all going through in it at the moment. And as I touched on before, this will be the car that I do Modball UK in. And on that note, very, very important, there'll be some developments going on in the background for Modball UK. There's a lot of work that goes into an event like this. It's going to be absolutely huge. So Edinburgh Council have come back and confirmed that we can close off an entire street. I'm going to get John at some point to come and get involved and tell you all guys and girls what that's going to mean, especially for you people in uh, Edinburgh, they're going to be there, what that's going to mean for Edinburgh. But basically, we're going to have an entire street locked off, fencing the whole lot, uh, finish line, uh, barriers, um, what's those things that go up over the top of the road? I don't know, I've got no brain at the moment. I've, I'm recovering from an illness and my brain's not really working. So anyway, Mobile's gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna leave the links below because there, there's a lot of movement on the tickets. Um, people are moving rallies and whatever, and whatever. So it's always worth checking to see where there's availability. If you go on the site and there's availability, it's because someone's moved and, and changed their rally or something like that. Make sure you check out the Mobile site and do book on. If you can get on there and you click on it and you're able to book on, go and reserve your space because it will go. Um, on the back end, there's a limited amount of slots when people move about because there's more than one event. Sometimes slots do open up. Anyway, I've told that in a very uh, roundabout, haphazard way. Chaos! Um, but yeah, make sure you go and book on anyway. Mobile UK, you going to be there? Yeah, yeah. Chaos. Should we go and see the F12 now? Because right, it's, it's literally right in front of us. One. The F12 that I put deposit on. Alright. Are you bought it or not? Deposit, finance going through. Is it actually happening or is it not happening? I'm getting an F12. Definitely. For Mobile UK and beyond. Just gonna keep it. Well, you you have always said that was your. Whenever I was looking at one, you were always like, don't because you'll ruin it for everyone. Maybe I could. Maybe we should both get F12. Don't get an F12, Archie, please. Why? I can't. Please don't do, do, I do it. Do what I want. Well, you can, but please don't well, do it. I love I love that car, and if you got it, you'd ruin it for me because you go and put a spoiler. I'd wrap it, yeah. Oh, I hate no, you. No, 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 I wouldn't. They are cool, and you've always you've always said it's your dream car. Funny enough, your car's here, Tom. Oh yeah. You're okay, on. right. Let's take a look then. Oh, We've got sorry, Tom Turner's I'll, I'll car. I'll just direct your channel for everyone. No, no, it's fine. My old F12 is here. I say old. It's it's an F12. It's not it's not old at all. It's I used to own this car, and then I sold it, and this is what started the love affair with F12s for me. This car was absolutely superb, and still is. Look at it. It's sick. I absolutely love it. And this got, I upgraded the exhaust. So it's got a, um, a louder exhaust on it. Uh, and inside here, we've got a crema interior with the upgraded hi fi. How do you call it? Crema. Crema. C R E M A. Or creme de la creme. I'll be here all week. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and this now belongs to a certain Joseph. His Instagram will be on the screen with a little pop. But that is not what we're coming to see. What I'm coming to see is this beauty. This is what I put my deposit on. This very car right here at Egham Marinello Ferrari. Chaos! a little look around this spec then I'm going to explain exactly why I was drawn to this particular example and why I love this car so much. Firstly then we've got this lovely Grigio paint job. You all know that I'm a sucker for a grey car. Most of my cars are grey. I absolutely love grey cars and this is no exception. Obviously my former F12 was black. I wanted to go for something um, slightly different although the black does look amazing. But as you've already noticed inside here we've got this lovely Bordeaux interior which for want of a better word, is red. So let's have a little look inside. Because this is where it really, really wins. Actually, whilst I'm on the way in, these wheels, these are obviously the better design to have on the F12. You've got those thick five-spoke ones that um, you'd have to be mad as a box of frogs to spec. And um, these are the upgrade wheels anyway, and they're really, really nice. And as with my former car, they're the, this kind of a diamond cut uh, finish with a black background actually in this case and they look really really nice so I, I'm a big fan of them anyway coming into the car here you're just greeted with chaos and Ferrari interiors are just unlike any other brand they are just 
spot on. Everything is just so, so cool. In here though, this is what strikes me the most. Let's, uh, let's pull this back. We've got the amazing carbon backed racing bucket seats and they are not fixed. You can fold them, which is very, very useful. We've got every single carbon option in here, including this carbon shelf, which for the life of me, I cannot work out why you'd want a carbon shelf other than the fact it just looks absolutely incredible. Sat there between the two carbon bucket seats. And as with all F12s, we've got this lovely stitching and kind of straps in here. This is the kind of stuff Ferrari does, but no other brand will do. It's cool, it's like a watch strap, really, really nicely done. But look at it, sick, absolutely sick. And this car would not have been cheap, brand new. Everything in here is carbon anyway. Carbon cup holder, carbon uh, central bridge there, all carbon around every single uh, dash panel, all around the vents. You've got carbon kick plates here as well, which is mayhem. Obviously carbon driving zone, which you cannot sell a Ferrari unless you have carbon driving zone. Uh, carbon shifters here. Here's a drinking game. Take a shot every time I say carbon. And over here as well, we've got passenger display as well, which is a very, very rare option for uh, the F12. So on that note then, this car is a 2016. It is a 66 plate. So this is the one on the last F12s ever made. That's what makes this car also very, very special because the F12 came to uh, the end of its life, should we say. Uh, I think late 2016 or early 17, perhaps, maybe even 18. Do you know Archie? You're not going to know, are you? No, but I know the passenger display is like... Passenger like, display is like a... It's like a really rich... the last, last, last cars. Yeah, so a lot of the F12s don't have the passenger display because they're not new enough to have that technology. Um, but Ferrari only put the passenger display in the latter cars and of them, not many people spec'd it because it's about five grand. Um, but on the F12, it's actually particularly important to get the passenger display. On the Lusso, I don't understand it because on the Lusso, you've got a big screen here. You can see all the uh, controls every, and the passenger can access it. But on the F12, you don't have any screens as a passenger. As a driver, all you've got is these three here. There is no center console. So as a passenger, if you want to change the music or, you know, look at the revs or whatever, I don't really know actually what that thing over there does. Uh, maybe something to do with the navigation over there as well on the passenger display. It's actually useful because you can prod it and not interfere with what the driver's up to because otherwise you just start fiddling around with uh, all the buttons over here. And that's the other thing with the F12 as well. It's mainly controlled by the steering wheel. So everything to, to you know control these screens here is all on the back of the steering wheel everywhere. It's chaos. So it's actually quite nice having the display over there. That's a good option to have. Uh, and as I say, not many people spec it. So that is very special. Anyway, you happy with that? No, I think You've, you've learned something there. I didn't hear what you said, but I've learned something. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like school, perhaps. No, pattern display is my favourite part of the Yep. Uh, what else is there to say about these cars then? Ah, uh, in the boot by the special car. Oh, here we go. You are now joined by my host, Mr. Archie Hamilton. No, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on, we've got the key here, mate. And that's the other thing about these. The old Ferraris, I say the old ones. Can you they're just kind open of, it? They don't care. They do care. Boots open. They've got proper keys. They've still got a proper key. Very, very good. We like that, and that's just that's just rich. We like that. So, what Archie is going to be telling us here is have a car cover. Yeah, car cover. I love a cover. But then you also have this, which you told me about, which I didn't know. I think so. In cool. in a Ferrari, every single Ferrari, they will have a panel which will uh, indicate all the options that the car has specified on it. This particular car, then, you can tell basically how mental someone's gone when specking a car with how full this is. Okay, so if you open a thing up and there's only a few things here, you think ah, they've tramped it at spec time. But this car has got loads and loads of bits here. It's a very full list anyway. Um, and you'll, you'll rarely see an F12 with a bigger list than that. So there we go. Chaos really. You happy with that? Other things to note then, it's got black exhaust tips on the outside here. Uh, we don't have carbon diffuser. We don't have carbon fog light. We've got no external carbon actually, which as I've always said on the F12, you can get that in carbon down here. I didn't have that on my last car. And you can also get that carbon uh, part there as well on the front, which tends to get very uh, stone chipped if you don't look after it. This doesn't have that. That's the only bit, it doesn't have carbon, but full carbon inside. As I said with the V12 Ferraris, I don't think you really need to go mental on exterior carbon on them. Really, I don't think it suits them. Something like the 488, I think it really, really suits it. But on the V12 kind of a GT kind of a vibe, doesn't really need it. And I think it's just a bit of a waste of cash and a lot of cash at that. Have I covered everything? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go inside. There's some very sensitive cars in here, as always, with Marinello. Egan, they do a lot of Atelier work. There's a lot of, of high-profile clients. They get a lot of very, very high-spec, uh, individual, unbelievable cars in, really, and they don't want this knocking around in there with a camera 
Uh, pointing it around, shouting, video and video putting it all over the internet. Point. You what? The video could be uh, removed. Yeah, and I don't want to annoy Ferrari, you know, they've kind of got very strict regulations. That's what kind of makes them a cool brand yeah. as well. They do really kind of, uh, they, do. they do really control their image, and they don't just allow people to run around with cameras uh, pointing them in other customers' faces, which is quite cool actually. Um, so, fair news to Ferrari, and I'm not going to push it. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to do some paperwork, I'm going to speak to Franco here, who I've been dealing with. Franco, I'm going to leave his Instagram on the screen, if he lets me do that. Franco and I have been friends since we were children. I used to ride around on bikes with Franco, cause some chaos uh, when we were kids, uh, many, many moons ago. Many decades ago now. Uh, but yeah, Franco and I have been uh, friends for ages. He's always been in the motoring industry. And it's quite cool, this is the first car he's ever sold me. Um, he, he's been at Audi and all sorts, and he's a Ferrari now. And I never thought, actually, when we used to hang around with each other when we were kids, that I'd be buying a Ferrari off him. It's all very odd. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Franco anyway. He's pulled absolutely blinded with this car and it's absolutely lovely. He was saying as well with F12s, they're getting very, very popular now. People are realizing the money that they're at, they are a very, very good buy. And there weren't many of them made. Um, they are the last of the Pininfarina um, designs. So Pininfarina designed that car, along with many other beautiful cars over the past uh, four, five, six decades. And obviously the 812 is now in-house Ferrari design. So there is a bit of an end of an era kind of element to the, to the F12. And there weren't that many of them made. I think there's probably maybe 300, 350 of them in the UK, which is not many at all. So then, here he is. Man with a plan. Here's Harry, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have a high five or are you going to drop the phone, aren't you? That's chaos. Are you vlogging? Yep, there we go, multitasking. Good work. Uh, Harry's vlog will be available soon, I'm very sure. Good to see you anyway, sir. Uh, I'll leave you to work. You've got AdSense to earn. As promised then, Mr. John Mobile is back on the channel. We are actually currently sat in a 488 GTB. It's very uh, very chilly outside, is it not? It and you've not even brought a jumper today, so uh, I do worry about you sometimes. Um, so, as I was touching on then outside when I was waffling on about uh, my F12, Mobile UK has been progressing behind the scenes. And I don't retain information very well, um, so I'm going to bring John in to tell you guys what's been going on with it because I, I struggle with stuff. I struggle with stuff. I haven't remembered. So I was saying that there is a road now that's been closed off in Edinburgh. There is. I yep. forgot the name of the road, even though I've been on it. I can picture it in my head, but that doesn't help everyone at home. What's it called? <laughs> it's called Regent Road. Okay. Regent Road. Okay, fine. So Go. It's not when you, when when you talk about it, it sounds like it's a little thing, but it's actually a really really big thing. Well, anyone who's been up there will know Regent. But Regent you're road. like, we're closing the road. Yeah, I'll see you there. Where, where it's like, we're closing a huge road in Edinburgh and we got signed... I filmed signed with the Aston. The, the, the road where I parked up with the Aston did the little uh, walk around. Where it's freezing, that they, yeah, yeah. That huge street. With the coaches it's on. It's not really a street, it's kind of just a... It's like a it's dual chaos. carriageway. It's it, huge. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, May the 4th... How they've agreed to that, I don't know. That's mental. I'm surprised. That's a huge... Yeah. That's going to be good. If they had saw your shoes, I doubt if they had a verse. Nothing wrong with my shoes? Oh, there is today actually, they're horrendous today. Um, so yeah, so May the 4th. Yep. Saturday, May the 4th. Saturday, May the 4th. All the cars, nearly 100 cars, because event one's sold out now. Did you say that? It's oh, like no, I didn't say that. Sold out. I, said, I said basically the way it works on the site is that there's going to be, people sometimes shift around due to work commitments or whatever, they try and do a different rally. They book in for one and they're like, oh, actually I can't do that, my boss is being a expletive, so they have to move around. So I said, check the site, and if you can book on, then by all means do, um, but Event White is sold out. Yeah. So if you go on there and it says sold out, don't be surprised. Yeah. Um, can, maybe, is there a mechanism where you can just kind of be alerted if anything changes and you'll yeah. be first in the, in um, the pot? But basically, right. click the link. Yeah, 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 check the, it out. It, you can still apply, and if something comes up, we'll try and squeeze. Um, but event one's sold out. Uh, Edinburgh Council have approved our road closure, which is a huge, huge thing. So all the cars will probably arrive around five o'clock, and there's going to be a massive car display right in the centre of Edinburgh. And that is Saturday, 4th of May. Saturday, 4th of May. Perfect. Yeah. Even I remember that. Well, I'm there, so I can't forget it. Well, I'll probably text you Friday to remind you. Yep, and I'll be in an F12. Hopefully, I better I better get an F12 now. <laughs> this isn't one of those videos where you know I just say I'm going to get something and then I never do. Well, can I take the <coughs> CBS? What? Can I take the SV? <laughs> no, the SV. I can't oh, afford to drive it. Mate. You thought about that? You actually thought about that? <laughs> so everyone's like, take the SV, but I'm not driving from one end of the country to the other end of the country in my SV. I wouldn't. F12 is perfect for that. Do you know? I'm, it's perfect. Do you know how SV I'm getting there? What are you taking? A helicopter. Oh my god. I'm getting anxiety even thinking of getting in a helicopter. 
You like all that stuff. I'm he jumps out of planes, he's chaos. So I'm, I'm no. driving to Checkpoint, which we, we're not disclosing yet. Okay. And then one of the mobblers, who owns a helicopter, is taking me up to Edinburgh, so I'm there earlier than you. And we're going to film the cars from the helicopter. Perfect. As long as I don't have to get in a helicopter, though. Or I don't have to go near it. I hate helicopters. Comment below if you think I should throw him I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to get in it. I'm not, I'm not getting in a, any form of small aircraft. Whether it's a small plane, a small helicopter, a large helicopter. I'm not jumping out of a helicopter. I, none of it. I'm not doing a bungee plane? jump. I'm not, not doing any of it. Why? I don't even get on fairground rides. <laughs> I'm not joking. I I'm don't gonna, do any I'm, of it. I'm going to take his shoes hostage and then he'll do it. No. Yeah, you will. Nothing would make me do it. Nothing. Sponsorship yep. is a massive part of Modball, so... Yep. Modball is not just seen on my YouTube channel, Archie's YouTube channel, across all our social media. Uh, Paul yeah. Wallace is, I don't know, I don't, do we know where Paul Wallace is at this he's, point? He's back on Sunday. Gallivanting around the world. I, I spoke uh, to him yesterday, he's back Sunday. There will be a lot of media exposure, but also, just in person, there will be thousands and thousands of people yes. also snapping the cars, putting it online as well, and obviously just seeing it in person as well. Driving the whole way length of the country, bloody bloody blast, and it, <laughs> Christ, crisps. Sponsorship is a massive, massive part of it, and there are very limited sponsorship slots. We've had a few applications, well, loads of applications, while well, you've we're, been dealing with yeah, it. Yeah, no, we've got quite I, a lot of sponsors. Already. Any form of admin, I just... There's forward. a couple, yeah, no, Tom does zero admin. <laughs> no, I'll just wreck it, mate. It just says chaos, that's basically his job. <laughs> that's it, that is it. <laughs> that's actually a job. Job description, chaos. 2019, what's yeah. on your CV? It just says chaos, like six years. I, CEO yeah. of chaos. I should put that on my CV, actually, probably improve it. Contact me on Instagram about sponsors. Okay, so this is the way to do it. Contact him on Instagram, it's not via email. John likes to see the brands that are emailing him uh, and getting in touch, so Instagram is actually the best way of doing that via DM. Yeah. Um, it enables a bit of a, a bit of a KYC process uh -huh. uh, off the bat. So his Instagram's on the screen, it's John Modball, very easy to remember. If you, are, if you have got a brand or a company that wants to sponsor the Modball Rally and you want your logos all over the cars, um, also, the packages will be sent out to you, so a lot of the packages will involve yeah. also appearing in my videos, on my social media, on the Mobile social media, uh, and all the rest of it. So there are some really cool packages there. It's far too boring, even for my channel, to go into right now, uh, but it is sick. There's a full document that you'll be sent. It's actually quite a nice like, presentation thing. It's actually very nicely done. It is. Again, I had nothing to do with that. You'll, <laughs> you'll realise, if you see it, you'll realise I had nothing to do with it, because it's actually quite good. Yeah. No other business in relation to Mobile UK. Obviously, Mobile Europe is, uh, is a big thing, but John and I have been in talks recently about um, something which I can't actually really say much about. It right. is not a car rally, though. It's chaos. Uh, it, it's going to be a very lucrative, very good idea. Um, if you've got a business, you'll want to get involved in this, okay? Yes. It's a... It's good. It's yeah. really, really good. Um, so yeah, business people, stay tuned. There is going to be something uh, for all of you very soon. And aspiring business people too, potentially. More on that Over that are coming. Yeah, not yet though. Not, not yet. yet, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Anyway, should we get out of here? Yeah. What... Well, I'm really hungry, are you? Yeah, I'm starving. You're just going to want to eat crisps though for the next hour. Can happen, mate. Can happen. I, I, you what know, you know I eat other stuff. I eat pizzas as well, and then sometimes I have burgers, John. Um, is that not even work? Uh, no, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's just set the wrong. I never set the time on these ever. People will know me. Will know because they're automatic. It's not moving. It's not okay, well, those will know. Will know the uh, sub dial at six o'clock is actually the running seconds, John. What? That sub dial at six o'clock. That's the running seconds, and then the big second hand it says, is the stopwatch. Okay, it says six twenty-three, and it's not that. It's like because it's automatic. Um, if I haven't worn it for a couple of days, all right, okay, and then it stops, really? and, then, yeah, and then yeah, that all automatic watches. You have to just it's chaos. How much is that? Watch? It's a lot of work. Uh, me, this beep, and and it doesn't work. Brilliant. Brilliant. No, it does work. Sometimes. If I no no no, if it was six twenty three, it'd be working. But I can set the time now and then set it to the right time, and then it just carry on keeping time. Surprisingly, you're always on time, and you got a watch that doesn't work. Am I on time? It must be that Huawei. It must be the Huawei. Huawei, if you're watching, I want a Huawei. Yeah, we all want a Huawei. Please. Where is it? Come on, hold on. Where are we going? Bless yeah. up. Right, okay. let's get out of this car then and go and get some burgers. Yeah! So that is that then. I am back uh, home here in East London. I've got to admit to you guys and girls, I've got the worst headache ever. I don't know what's going on. I think I might actually be about to die. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully I will survive long enough for this video to be even put out. Do let me know in the comments what you think of the, what will we put on the F12 and I will see you all very soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, I'll see you again soon, bye.